for the subject of the show. It's 47 Ronin. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? given to us to watch this week all right i thought it wasn't a bad movie at all um some parts you know could be edited a little better um don't know if i'm feeling keanu reeves as the ronin guy but i saw this more of a keanu co-starring with the well yeah because guess what uh the legend of the 47 ronin the Keanu's character doesn't exist. He was made for this character is made for this movie. Mm. Mm. See, I didn't and realize that's it was true. based on true events until the end. Yeah, it is based on true events. Um, the story is retold quite often in Japan. Um, so all these Japanese actors were very proud to do a um, mythological, universally acce uh, accessible version of this movie. Um, the young man playing Oishi's son. Um, it, okay, so in real life, uh, one of them was pardoned. The rest of them did perform seppuku, right? In the movie, Oishi's son is spared. Um, Oishi's in his forties in real life. In the in the in the events that took place, um, and of course, all the mystical witchcrafty elements are not part of the the, the historical legend. Um, but all of that no. is, is <laughs> well, no, because because I mean, because there are there are a lot of historical legends where the the mystical supernatural elements are part of the story, and it's just like, well, you, the audience, it's up to you how much you want to believe that, right? Oh, that's that's fair. Okay. Um. So like so like but like their legend is like very much like you know this took place. They went for revenge, and they did what was honorable after they had the revenge, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, but anyhow, the young man playing Oishi's son, it was his first English language film. And he said Keanu was extremely encouraging. Uh, kept telling him what a great job he was doing. And I, it was this movie that got that young man a part in Letters to Iwo Jima. Ooh, nice. So nice. I was like, wow. So like, and that kid, and that kid is basically like, he started off as a Japanese pop star, right? He's got multiple That's albums. Okay. And, and this was like, and this was like his first. This was his first international acting gig. Um, anyhow, just I, I, I watched the interviews of all of the Japanese cast, and they were all amazing. They were all very proud to participate in this movie. Um, some of them did their lines phonetically because they do not actually speak English in real life, like the witch. Um, so that was really interesting. Um, and they all praised uh, Keanu for being so humble, so kind, uh, and uh, and uh, and, um, and encouraging. He was just encouraging throughout the entire filming. Um, and of course, everyone understood that like this movie is like partially like Keanu's star power is what we're using to to yeah. tell this story, right? Well, to um, sell this movie, really. Yeah. So like they were like you know because you know he already had the popularity of the Matrix and all that. So. All of that was taken into to consideration, and um, anyhow, I mean, I, I I liked it. You know, the pacing isn't perfect, but I think it tells a really cool, like, epic style story. You know, um, this mysterious voice found. He's raised by this, you know, by this uh, this this wise like a, a half demon, right? He's Ooh, like demons, right? Yeah. Then they call yeah. them demons. They yeah. call him Demon, but guess what? He's really just half English, half Japanese, and abandoned is basically all he is. So wait a minute. Yeah. That well, near him, Keanu, right? But the the guy that we see when they go to get the swords. Yes. It's only one guy. No, no, he, or, no or he's. Guy, that was like just the head group, guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was just the head and, guy. And, so, and who Arya says was then, creepy okay. when he saw his face. Well, I was his, like, his oh, yeah. I was like. That's pretty creepy. Ramon says, uh, "Great movie. Just rewatched it the other day." Yeah, um, it was like a, yeah, a samurai Gabby, movie with a lot of fantasy elements in it, and I yeah. like that. They were like, you know, yeah. This I... both throws me off, though. See this picture and look at this poster. Yes, mm -hmm. 
that guy at the skull. This is the only shot in the movie that you he's get not in the movie, is he? I don't remember. He that. is That's in the right movie. There. He's yeah. just, he's on the Dutch island. So after when a, a year later, when uh, Oishi's released and he wants to go find him, they're like, oh, they, his son is the one tells him, oh, they took him to the Dutch island. So this is the Dutch island, and they're this dude is super creepy. I guess he runs the arena event there. But you only see him for like two seconds right there. I don't, yeah, I don't remember him in this movie. Yeah, and he's on the poster and the event that happens there is on the poster. And I'm just like, but that right. barely happens in the movie. Well, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's um, kind of along the lines of, remember when Seagal was in on the poster for Executive Decision? He's in yeah, the movie five thanks. minutes. <laughs> I, here's Nano. my, my I like this movie. I didn't love it. I wanted to like it more than I did. I think they did a fantastic job of marketing it because you look at that trailer, and you're like, oh, all right, this is going to be awesome. And then mm -hmm. you get into it. And it, not that it dragged, but it, I don't know. Like, here's, I'll readily admit I didn't watch it in one sitting because I knew I was going to be home. So I watched up to uh, basically where they know they're going to have to go on the on the journey to, 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 to do the revenge. So I watched up to that. And the scene where they walk into the village and then Keanu takes out everybody, mm -hmm. I, that's where I took my break. I'm like, okay, this is a good time to take a break. And then I watched the second half. But, you know, that's fine because it's, it really is kind of a movie of two two halves. I thought it was well done, visually stunning. Some of the, the mystical stuff was really cool. I just, this, I, I, I like the story of him and the, and the, the princess or whatever name it, you know. Yes. I yeah, thought that was really well done. And I thought that it could have been better because when he t says the whole thing about I will, I'll live a thousand lifetimes and I'll take 10,000 whatever journeys to find you and the, on the other side, great. But the sepulchre thing just really took me out of it. I'm like, so you all kill each other? Like, I get it's. For, I didn't like that. I mean, I understand that as a culture, but in myself, I'm, I'm like, you're just going to kill yourself? That's like, what, yes, and because they want to die with honor. And that is, and that is the true legend. And that is yeah. the true history. That is the event. That's what I'm saying. If I'm Japanese, I think that resonates more. But for me, yes. it took it took away from it. And and because when I'm sitting there watching it, and he says that you remember he calls the son up and says, "No, no, your line deserves to still be part of this country." I'm like, what yeah. about the rest of us? You think we all did a great job? How about you're already breaking the rules for one person? How about we can all live a really long life and tell everyone what a great shogun you are? That's what's in my head. But you know, I'm yeah, no, they were very convinced of no. the honor. Yeah. Do you know what year? Do you know what year Japan banned seppuku? It's probably for more recent than I, I, we realize. 1991. I was always going I would have said the 70s. But, That's you know. crazy. Wow. Yeah. So, oh, well, maybe let me tell you, this is this is this is a stark reality for people who come from strongly different cultural values. Mm -hmm. hmm. Ramon says those are real tattoos by the way on the guy on the poster. That's wild. That's crazy. I mean, um, good, good for him Carey? for, you know, yes. the most also known as Harry Carey, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if I did not research like why the uh, why why it's also called Harry Carey. I know Sepaku is most traditional. Right. Now, you want to know what's really funny? The old man, the um, committing, uh, he's told to commit Sepaku, but then he has his son, his son behead him. Um, no, I'm pretty has, sure that has, was uh, for theatrics. More, I'm pretty sure son. the old man also got it himself. It's not. It's not his son. It's the uh, what? It's the guy who runs. It's Oishi. The, yeah, it's Oishi. He has him do it. Yeah, yeah Oishi the, is his son. No, he's he's the head. Of, he's his samurai. Yeah, he's not he's his like, son. He's, he's like just... the head of his security detail. Yeah, yeah. That's so he reason. only has the princess. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because right. then the because she then, was going to take over. Her. Remember? Right. Yes. Yes. That's so, right. She becomes in charge I mean, of the land. I, I don't know enough about Japanese culture, but that was my under my limited understanding that generally you have that certain person as your second so yeah you're doing it in, in honor but so you don't suffer they chop your head off as soon as you do yeah it. Mm -hmm. and i'm like going well where what about these other 40 like six guys how about you have the, your soldiers standing over them if you go we're gonna do this otherwise there are 46 guys just sit there and, and suffer for until they die i don't know yeah, Most, yeah exactly. uh, doesn't want who doesn't like a good katana battle exactly yeah and shout out to geek out with roscoe what's up party people stop by to say hi i hope you all have a fantastic day Thank you, Geek Out with Roscoe. We met him uh, through Angel's uh, 1,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. Yo, thanks oh, for right tuning on. in, bro. Totally appreciate that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. It sounds like you I, did. No, I enjoyed, like I said, I I did. enjoyed, I enjoyed it. the movie. I wanted to like it more. I just... It, the, it, that's, the, the sepulchre thing, just it took me out of it. It was kind of anticlimactic. In the, the meantime, I was very... I was very 
historically prepared and you know i understood that that was just going to be part of part of my experience i i thought the, that the princess was probably the best at the the she had played the best part and did the, the best job out of the whole thing because i fully believe when she cries at the end when, when she looks at her and keanu make the eye contact i, I believe that 100 percent. and that, that yeah no i thought I, I really think she was she was amazing even the witch was really good, to be honest with you. She, she was creepy, but I thought she was Oh, really she good. was, right. She really pulled off creepy and um, and menacing. Yes. Oh, the witch? I like. Yes. That's yeah. probably one of my favorite. Yeah. Right? Because, yeah. like, you, you know, that. With the, uh, one that's eye was one color, the other was a different. Mm hmm. And, and uh, the, shout the, out to uh, Manny, the Hobgoblin was... Collective, for tuning in. Uh, he's another new subscriber. What's up, Manny? What's good, Manny. What's good? <laughs> um, welcome. 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 Ramon says, what's the next movie we're watching? We don't know yet, Ramon. We'll figure that uh, out after Con the show. It's, it's Conan, and it's also on HBO Max, we, and it's I the one with... I thought we talked about Hero. Huh? The original I thought Conan. we talked about Hero last week. Hero with um, Jet, Li? Jet Li? Well, let's, let's do Conan and then do Hero. Let's after. do Conan, and then we'll circle I, back. I was thinking about this this week, too. I think we should watch Sucker Punch at some point. Oh, man, I was just talking about that movie yesterday. It's, I Such mean, that'd be fun. about a gr visually stunning movie, but the... the It'd be interesting to really discuss that plot. Ramon says, Conan the Barbarian. Crown. And, 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 and of course, shout out to Empire. I want to be clear the Jason Momoa Conan. No, I don't uh, watch that Conan. Really? Yeah, no, that's the one I want to watch. I feel Why? It, deserves, it deserves its own shake, and it's right there for us to watch on HBO. Well, if we're watching that, then we have to watch The Rock Hercules, too. Oh, Maybe man. we will. We'll circle back to that, too. But I want. I mean, we're I doing want, it. I want Jason Momoa. Uh, I want Jason Momoa Conan, yeah. which I happen to have enjoyed that one. And Momoa's, then we'll do Hero. Hero and then we'll come to around. your Jason Momoa thing. <laughs> like, bro. Uh, uh, how about we do this? How about we do this? We do, we watch both of them and compare them. <laughs> you see this? And we can you see this. <laughs> this is why people. This is why people don't like our community. Okay, <laughs> different people can enjoy different things. All right. It's very true, Cliff. <laughs> Uh, Angel says, hey, Cliff, I just saw Cocaine Bear last night. Yes! Yes! Cocaine yes, Bear is excellent! Air. It's on Peacock. For anybody watching, it's on Peacock. Ramon just it's saw it, Peacock. too. You don't have to pay extra. Watch it. It's an hour and a half of, of pure joy. It is pure <laughs> joy, because you only need to know two things to watch that movie. Bears yes. and cocaine. That's it. Yes. Um, the, the fight scenes in this movie were really good. They it, were. Who was that guy? I never understood yeah, who the Yeah, I was the about to bring it to that guy. That guy, um, I didn't like the way he went out. You know what? I kind of like the way he went out because it was one of those things of like, yo, he's really tough. He's like a juggernaut. How do we handle that? Boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. big explosives. Um, although, did they have explosives at that time? Was yes, the they son, did. Yeah. Did the son unmask Oishi? Remember they were doing the play? And he's like, you know, we're, we're the act. That's how they got into oh. the... Did, did he do that on purpose? No. No. Because there was definitely like an arrow shot in that direction. Well, he was what trying to was, stop no, the what other guy. No, what happened was was the guy. There were guys on the ground realizing that there's that their enemy dudes are coming and they start shooting at each other. No, I got that, but it looked like. I mean, maybe I'm remembering this wrong because you know it's a lot of stuff going no. on. No, so it one, like one of the one of the guys on the high ground, one of the guys on the high ground got hit while he's shooting, oh, and then that okay, arrow that went down sense. hit him. Okay, that makes more sense. Hmm. Uh. Empire. Angel says Jason Moore made a Conan movie. <laughs> yeah, man, he made a Conan movie. Um, Listen, I, I like. Ramon, did you guys ever watch? watch. It? Thank I you. I don't think I've seen the original one all the way. Through. I have I'm seen it. Um, Dude, Ramon I thought the opening for Conan's for origin that movie was great. Could have been better, man. I know. Sure, things could have been better, but like we, I, I'm just like we should revisit films so that we don't just dismiss them yeah. because they didn't live up to certain expectations. I mean, Pos watch Black positives Black. about that movie is that and then we'll go back to Forty Seven Ronin. Positive about it, it's a little bit more closer to the comic books than the Arnold one. Um, yeah, this guy gets blown up. Um, yeah, they show it in the trailer. <laughs> they show it in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the creepy part, man. With the uh, these guys, was it this one? Yep. Where where they go to get the swords? Yeah. Yes. The bird face guy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So I guess those yeah. are the people that adopted Keanu yes. first. Well, yes. The ones that gave him his, you know, taught him in the ways of that mysticism stuff that he didn't want to do. 
Right. And then he's moving at mystic speed when with his sword when we get to when we get to the final battle. Yes. <laughs> and they against the you know. and against the witch. Yeah. Yes. I know magic. I know magic. Um little things like that is what I didn't like about the movie. They didn't really explain a lot of things very well. I don't think for me that scene was fine because it was more about Oishi trusting Keanu not to draw his sword. Yes. It had nothing to do with anything else other than... Well, no, Keanu trusting say, Oishi not to draw his sword. Well, but really both of them. Because he tells him, don't whatever, don't do it. And I'm right, and, and, he, and he's got, and he's got the, the Kengu voice in his, in his ear right. telling him, look, look at your man, save them, right. draw your sword, save them. But, but it's all in a, it's all a mirage. It's all an illusion. Yeah. Um, Ramon says, "You want to comment on a movie? Watch the Airbender movie or Dragon Ball Evolution." Oh <laughs> God, please, Cliff, don't, don't. <laughs> I want to say, I've seen the uh, Airbender movie. <laughs> you want to know what's so funny? The Airbender movie. The uncle, Uncle Hero, is like that dude. I love him, and he's the only thing in the movie that I that I find redeemable. And then. In Dragon Ball Evolution, James Marsters, um, uh, Piccolo is the only thing redeemable in the movie. Like everything else is horrible, but like I love those two guys in those two movies. I love. <laughs> uh, man, you know, Goblin Collector says DB Evolution. Only thing he got right is holding in a fart face for Goku from anime. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, this movie, the ending of this movie is they basically. Storm the, the 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 temple where yeah. uh, the, the bad guy is. He's praying, offering up his prayers for the wedding and stuff like that. And I thought it was really cool how they infiltrated the temple. Yes, when they were walking up the walls and it looked like they mm -hmm. were bricks. I was like, yep. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, well, here's the thing: is he's is he? I mean, he he's the villain of the movie, but is he really a bad guy? Because he's only following the orders of the shogun. Right. Yeah, well, the shogun everything. isn't the one telling him to commit treachery. Yeah, no, but he, he had the witch do that thing to the yeah, guy. Yeah, he had a yeah. witch no, as his that. right hand. Yeah, no, <laughs> now you want to yeah. you want to talk about a plot hole? What was ever in it for the witch? Hmm. Well, yeah, she says that you know pretty soon my master would be running this this region. So maybe she's thinking, you know, I'm going to be second in command here. Right, uh, maybe and uh, maybe she's bound to him in some way, but that is for I me. I think that's really what it is. That's a tiny plot hole. I'm like, why is the switch bound to you? Why is the switch serving you? You know, like what does she get out of it? Um, what, what, what you know, she like, owe, you owe her. Yeah, like right, like exactly. Or are you gonna owe her forever? The Dungeons and Dragons movie. It is very clear what the villain in that movie is getting out of the uh, of the wizard serving him. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, so you're like, oh, damn. Like, you know, you see the relationship. You understand what's happening. And you're like, all right, got it. <laughs> I thought her transformations were cool, too. They I were great. The was, CGI uh, was very, had the was very effective. Hair. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought this dragon looked believable, too. And sometimes these kind of look hokey. Or like, you can tell it's fake. I, this was fairly believable. Even and, yeah. it, and it's a, you know, a Jap an Asian-style dragon as opposed to a dragon we normally see. But I, I thought it was pretty believable. Ramon says she's a servant. Right, we got. Listen, I got that she's a servant, but like, but yeah, why? But how? Far, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because why? She can't take over that guy whenever she wants to. She's clearly more powerful than. Him. Now, if there is, if there is like a bonding ritual, then yeah, of course she's stuck serving him because she is. You know, there's there's magic making her beholden. So um, she's like, well, he's my master. That's it. I'm stuck. Or, or or she was bound somewhere and he released her. So now she, you know, that like a genie type thing, maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but we again but we never get any of that. You're right. We don't get any of that. It doesn't. It doesn't ruin the movie for me. Um, no. But you know, I would have. I would have enjoyed like a little story where if he freed her while she was caught in fox form, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Uh, Angel says you guys should review. They live. I've never, okay, never seen we that. Okay. All right. We got to We got a target times a year where we go way back and then we go just a little bit back. We should write all these down though. So eventually we get to all of them. You know what I mean? I'll make a list. Oh. Well, what, what do we have? What do we have so far? Okay. They have uh, original Conan. They live. They live. Um, hero. Hero. Yeah, hero. Hero. It was is on our list. Uh, um, they live. Oh, uh, Manny says that Empire. If you get a chance, to look up. They live. Pooh variant. Pretty funny. Ramon says I'll email you my list. 
<laughs> sucker, sucker punch. Sucker punch. Sucker punch. Sucker punch. That's a great one. Oh no, what happened? We should do a 300 at some point too. I haven't seen that movie forever. By, oh, by, yeah. by the way, guys, I just want you to know Talk that the comedy. main movies I've been targeting for us are ones that are available on streaming services we subscribe to. <laughs> <laughs> like I just like like I like I hear you and I and I got you and, and and like and once in a while I go out on a limb I went out on a limb for Flash Gordon all right but like I'm not gonna be going out on a limb all the time. You could have watched it on YouTube. I watched Flash Gordon on the YouTube clips. They had the whole movie. <laughs> um, no, I'm glad. I mean, I happen to own it, but you know, good. <laughs> I watched it on uh, YouTube TV. I just flash forward through commercials, but other than that. And Phil, did you watch it on Laserdisc? Tell me you watched it on Laserdisc. No, I don't have Flash Gordon on Laserdisc, so I oh. ended up streaming it. Didn't they? <laughs> didn't we talk about it? It was, uh, it was redone in 4K as well? It was yeah, redone it was. in 4K. I, mean, I, did, 4K. I did not have it in 4K. Oh. I'm just going to finish through this trailer. What? I can't remind me, too. Uh, why exactly was it a big deal that Keanu was out there fighting that guy? Because he is not a samurai. Okay, that's what I thought, but okay. Yeah, and he's 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 a half breed, so they. And he knows about combat. the magic stuff too, because remember well, he, yeah. no, 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 no. The specific he, thought, scene he told he masked. told Oshi he told Oshi about the magic before, and Oshi didn't listen to him, and that's right, why all that, that stuff was, fell. Yeah. So yeah, you know this dude knows about it. He can see it. I'm gonna need his help. You know what I mean? And plus the Mika, but that, thing. he, but he that knows that he loves Mika. With, that has nothing to do with what Ronaldo just brought up. Yeah, what? why he was out there? Fight. The guy got sick, right? So he was basically just filling out, out where fighting. The main event where you have to the, you send in your two challengers right. for the uh, for the competition. That the, uh, which, which poisoned the the main fighter? Exactly right. right. But the yeah, big deal about Keanu being exposed in that battle is the fact that Keanu is not a samurai. He was not worthy right. to participate in that fight. Uh, I that was the big deal right. of that scene. That's what we were and talking that's, about. And that. And that's what dishonored that house more than anything else. I mean, yeah. yeah, the guy attacked, you know, in the middle of the night, but that was kind of the, the opening salvo to, hey, you're, there's something going on, <laughs> you know, a dishonorable in this area. And then when the witch poisons that guy's mind, that was kind of the last straw. Angel, Angel says, so I just realized this isn't the movie Last Samurai. Which no, I'm, it's not. <laughs> I'm so confused. The Last Samurai, which is one of the most ridiculous movies because it makes no sense that they're trying cannons and everything else, but whatever. Yeah. For most of the century, my list, Sam. Roger that. Um, so overall, we'll go across. Phil, overall, what's your view? Uh, overall, I'm gonna say this is like a a seven for me. Um, but like you, you know, I, I agree with Green Shirt Guy when he said like I liked it, but I wanted to like it more. And like like when we saw the trailer for it, like last week, I was like super stoked for it because the trailer looked really great. But watching mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's not like perfect. It's not like I mean, it's good. It's good. So, yeah, I'm going to say seven. Cliff? Seven. Seven. Seven? Green yep. shirt guy. I, uh, it's, it's three sevens. I, 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 I want to <laughs> like it. I want to like it more. Um, I'm not. It's one of those movies. I'm not upset. I watched it. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I could have done something else. It's 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 all right. It's not bad. It's just I. it could have been better. Yeah, I give it a seven as well. I just. It's a seven. It's not bad. It's not great. It's something yeah. you can sit through. But and still, watch. I mean, like, I was glad to watch it. I've recommended it to other people to watch. It. I'm like, you should give it a shot. Like, it's good. It's certainly good enough to be like, hey, you should check this out. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and if you like Keanu, you'll like him in this too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And the design if, and everything and is you, great. I was gonna say, and if you're familiar with some of these Japanese actors and you already enjoy them, you will enjoy them right. here too. Mm -hmm. Like Oishi, well, who also appears excited. in John Wick Four. That's that's <laughs> it. That's exactly it. I was like, I was excited because like, oh, that's right. They, he's in this too. So I'm like, oh, you know, it, it kind of was like, oh, he's going to do something cool. And he did kind of, but not as much as I was hoping. And just as I'm watching this trailer but again, they showed all the great parts in the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it's very... They really do. Which makes you think, oh, this is... I was going to say, I was really happy to see the actor here and to see that this clearly reflected on their working relationship that he appears in John Wick 4. I, I, that's what I... When, in watching this, I almost thought to myself... I bet you Keanu went, hmm, who can I get? Because we're going to go to Osaka. I, I want him. We're friends. Yeah. I, 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 I bet you I can, I can get him to come and, come and have fun, you know, come come and play. All right. Well, that is our show. We want to thank you guys for tuning in this week to our Film and Box Office News. This was episode number 33.